Welcome back to another video. Happy Vlogmas. Honestly, I don't remember which day it is. I want to say it's Vlogmas Day 14, although I'm really not sure. So <laughs> I'm just going to put it on the screen. What is up, you guys? I know I haven't vlogged or posted in a couple of days. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I got a little overwhelmed with Vlogmas. And a lot of the things that I felt like I planned out, I did not plan out hundred percent and I feel like they were just falling through so I was like you know what we're just gonna slow it down a bit you guys know I love to vlog I literally love posting weekly vlogs weekly vlogs are completely different from a daily vlogging daily vlogging and uploading daily was just a lot for me I feel like I want to switch gears and shift back into weekly vlogging because I love vlogging my week I like putting like a whole kind of video together of just my week kind of like a compilation montage whatever you want to call it so we're shifting gears and we're switching back over to a weekly vlog so this is going to actually be like vlogmas 14 through 21 yeah let's do that 14 through 21 and then we'll have you know some select single day vlogs probably after that up until the 25th although the 25th is literally right around the corner i cannot believe I do have Christmas Day planned out, so that's cute. But yeah, so as far as today, today is Sunday on today's Vlogmas agenda. Honestly, I feel like I need to just run some errands. I spent the last two days fully cleaning my apartment. I did like a nice deep clean, cleaned the whole bathroom, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the living room. I completely organized my entire closet. I got a new dresser which I'm so happy about. Um, so I was able to put clothes that I just had in boxes and in bags in my closet. I was actually able to fold them and put them away, set up my TV, got my little sh Chanel and Tom Ford. Like, it's coming together, okay? Like, I honestly wanna get my apartment fully furnished the way that I want it, and I'm not missing a lot of stuff. Like, honestly, it's just a couple of more things, but I wanna get it fully decked out by like i want to say the end of january like right before my birthday just so i can like, kind of enjoy it because i feel like you know i'm i'm nearing like almost six months that i've been in this apartment so we need to get things together okay a lot of stuff has been sold out or i'm just looking for very specific furniture pieces and until i come across them i'm not gonna buy something in the meantime like i'll wait like i'm okay with waiting for what i want if it's for me and if i desire it i'm okay with waiting okay like i'm when it comes to that i'm patient okay <laughs> i do want to go and i need to go food shopping so i need to go to the grocery store like that has to happen so that i can like make dinner and stuff i do want to update you guys on my fitness journey real quick so i've transitioned from if you guys watched my first video in my fitness journey i'll have like a little pop up here if you guys watched that video then you knew that after the three months of me like essentially trying to slim down and just burn as much fat as possible i was shifting over into a weightlifting gain guide where i'm basically just trying to like put on weight build muscle so i was like eating a lot of carbs high carbs high protein low fat um, and I was working out three times a week, but I was doing strictly weightlifting and I was focusing directly on my lower body and honey That those six weeks did what it needed to do. Okay I'm gonna put up a side-by-side -side photo of me at the start of the six weeks because I made sure to take progress photos start of the six weeks and end of the six weeks and you can definitely see growth I've honestly noticed it. My friends have noticed it. They keep pointing out. They're like, hey girl, you got a boy and it's honestly it's very cute like i love that for me it's not where i want it to be obviously i'm still gonna be working more like this the work is not done here at all like this is literally just the beginning but i'm very happy with my results but now we're t-minus 60 days like literally less than 60 days until my birthday and i'm trying to be on a yacht in dubai in a thong shaking my ass so i need to we need to 
snatch it all the way together. Like, we need to snatch his body back in shape because the weightlifting and the putting on the muscle was also putting on some rolls, you know, in, in other places. Like, I got my back rolls back. I got my front rolls back, you know. I'm just feeling a little bit... I'm stronger. Like, I feel stronger, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit thicker my clothes is fitting a little tighter i was just like oh okay i mean now i'm shifting back into cutting so i'm gonna be eating in a calorie deficit and basically like doing a bunch of cardio still doing weightlifting um throughout the week so that i can maintain the muscle that i put on and and tone but i want to just make sure that you know we slim down the stomach like my focus right now is my back and my stomach like literally those two areas they're not crazy but like i know with consistency if i really do take the next six to eight weeks by the time my birthday roll around oh y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing nothing y'all not be able to tell me nothing okay period so so i just went and picked up my breakfast from quench I am fasting, so I'm doing intermittent fasting, so I only eat between the hours of 12 and 8, so it's a little bit after 12, and I'm drinking, this is a protein shake, but honestly, too real thick. I have a protein shake here, and then I have an acai bowl. This has like acai, I think it's acai. I don't know how to say it properly, I'm sorry. But it has strawberries, bananas, it has um, maca powder, and I think honey and something else, I don't remember. But this is very yummy, I've had this already like once this week. And yeah, that's my little breakfast, I'm gonna eat this. I get to start, I get to eat for the next eight hours and then I cut off at 8 p.m. and I don't eat after that until the next morning, well the next afternoon because it's not even the morning, I eat at 12. So it sounds like kind of hard but honestly I feel like this is the only thing that works for me. I've tried, I've tried the keto diets, I've tried um, the Atkins at one point. I know I did that with my mom years ago. I've tried a lot of different diets. I've tried a lot of different like cutting out certain things, but I genuinely feel like the only thing that I really see results with is fasting. I feel like just specifically for my, I'm just speaking on my body type, it's the only thing that really like garners true results. So I do it and I honestly, I like it a lot. I don't feel like it's hard. I have this app that I just downloaded and I'm gonna wait to tell you guys about it because I really wanna just see like, you know, how beneficial or effective or helpful it is. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is right now, but I do have an app that kind of like keeps me on track with fasting um, and there'll be like little reminders and things of that nature, but It'll tell you like, oh, you're reaching the now at this hour of your fast, like your body has gone into ketosis and it'll give you like little, you know, fun facts about that or tips that you can do or it reminds you to drink your water, things of that nature. So I just thought it was really interesting and yeah, your girl is trying to get slim thick. Okay, let me show you. This is what I look like right now, you know. If she could twerk in jeans, you know it's fat. We finna, I want a little six pack, you guys. Not even a six pack, I want like a little four pack. So yeah, we finna make it happen. But, I've been talking for like 10 minutes. Child, anyway, I honestly, I needed this. Um, on another note, yeah, I need to go to the flower market and I need to get, I need to go to the flower market and I need to get eucalyptus. I need to go and get candles what else i need some stuff because i just started my monthly so i need to re-up on some like panty liners tampons pads of that nature you know you know regular woman ish i need to go to the supermarket um what else do i need and then i need some stuff for the house so yeah I'm, overall it's just gonna be like a running errands kind of day target runs home good runs you know y'all love these kind of days honestly um so yeah, let's go. Guess who got her car mount to work? Ah! Period. So now we can have the official, the car rants, the car talks. I had to put my sunglasses on because it's literally so freaking sunny. Um, but yeah, I'm in the car. And 
let's get it like <laughs> purr. I have a list of places that I need to go to and yeah I had to make a list because honestly lately I've been coming out the house and just not having a list on me and just like going places and doing whatever I want and I feel like it's not very um, time productive you know time efficient that's what I meant to say Ooh. so yeah I'm in the car literally I bought this mount and I thought that it didn't work for my car because the my head not my headboard my dashboard is really close to that's a little pothole my dashboard is like really high I don't know it's like high and and the windshield is kind of low so I thought that it wasn't gonna work but this um this little this little mount or whatever is customizable like you can change the way I didn't realize that you could like really alter the way that it's set up so I was able to fix it but yeah <laughs> I'm so happy because I've really like wanted to have talks in the car I just feel like or just like jam sessions in the car I just want to be in the car vlogging and I obviously can't hold the camera as I'm driving so but um, one thing we not gonna do is comment on the way that I drive although you guys can't really tell but like I'm a great driver I've never God forbid but like never been in no kind of accident or nothing so yeah I'm very observant I'm a very good driver my dad said I'm a very very good driver and that man knows how to drive okay so what we not finna do is that excuse me you guys <laughs> i look like yo i look like um i'm going skiing but i just got to tarjay and of course the first place that i stop in in target is the home decor section because I just be trying to see if they got anything new, you know, anything cute, anything new. This is kind of cute, but I don't need another lamp right now. Um, I have a list of things, but there's no harm in looking. Am I right? I feel so impersonable when I have the hat, the sunglasses, and the mask on. I'm like, I literally look like a faceless, like thing being honestly i tried to go to cvs before this and i couldn't find parking on the street because there's no parking lot for that cvs because it was in downtown obviously i should have just walked but i felt like driving <laughs> it didn't make sense <laughs> so i wasn't able to find parking so i just came to target because target at least has parking okay so i'm looking at hair products right <laughs> And I see this deep treatment mask from Chris and S. I like this brand. Their blow dry mist I use all the time when I blow my hair out. And I low key feel like I need a mask to put on just to kind of like revive my hair just a little because I do plan on putting more heat on it. And then I picked up another method of body wash. And I'm looking for. I saw Taraji P. Henson's brand is in here, but I don't see where. And I need more lotion. That's what definitely what I need. So I need to get one of these Nivea's. Is it crazy that I want to get this? I'm going to get this. If you know what this is, you know that this cream is thick. And I've just been so dry lately. Literally, like, I put cocoa butter on when I get out the shower. And for some reason, like, two to three hours later, I'll look down at my skin and it'll literally be ashy. It's so crazy. Like, I don't know what's going on, but the moisture has just not been in my skin. So I'm going to go for the heavy-duty stuff and get this tub of the Nivea cream. That's, like, really, really thick. About to go into Bath and Body Works. I need me a candle or two. Um, you know what's so sad? <laughs> the day that they had the candle sale, where I think it's like it's like the one day a year. I reminded Shanice and Mona in our group chat, but I forgot to go myself. Like I was like, ladies, tomorrow's the big day. And then the day came, and I was so busy that day, I completely forgot. 
So, I haven't gotten candles in so long. I know I want, ooh, Mary Maple Pancakes. Oh no, that's too sweet. I'll get like two, two or three candles. All three with candles are $16.50. That's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. Cookies with Santa. This smells like sugar cookies. I want marshmallow fireside. Where is that at? That played out scent. I want it. <laughs> that fire, that been fire. <laughs> okay, before I get in my little popcorn bag, I just left Target. I got some stuff and then I headed to the bank because I need to go to the bank. And now I'm about to head to the flower market in downtown LA to get some eucalyptus for the crib because I've been missing it. Honestly, like my showers is not the same without my eucalyptus. And I went to the, the body shop, Bath and Body Works, and I got a candle. I'm gonna show you later. And that pair with the, mm, it's gonna be real cute. So yeah, I'm about to drive over there right now. I should put my mount, I should put my camera on my mount. Hold on one second. It is so freaking hot. But it's also like chilly, but like I'm sweating. Like goodness gracious. Let's go. Let's go, mamas. Bake it up. Bake it up. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm supposed to a left at this next night you guys they're putting a bossa nova they're putting a bossa nova in downtown la what 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 i'm not like a like that's not like my favorite or anything but that's just another food option i'm always down for more food options and every time i would order from bossa nova it would take forever to come on uber eats and i honestly i won't i haven't been over there since i got my car maybe one time but the fact that they're putting one right in downtown is so like crazy like downtown is honestly it's getting so like they're putting like they put the sephora down here there's an apple store like they just keep adding things that i like <laughs> and i'm happy we love that Her. tomorrow is my day off all them rehearsals got me tight look at the payoff and now my body look like something you need take off yeah, I'm gonna run to Staples after the flower market. And then I think that'll conclude all of the errand running. No, and I'm going to Ralph's after Staples. So, yeah. But that'll probably be a little bit later because I need to go home and eat something. Honestly, I'm starving. I only have five, I have four and a half hours left of my eating window. <laughs> and then I gotta cut it off at 8 p.m. So, I need to make sure that I get in all of my meals. Staples, staples with it. Honestly, I just need to get my Vax card laminated because it keeps getting like, from taking it out from bag to bag, I feel like it keeps getting messed up. So I don't know how this works, but I know you can get it done in. Staples. You guys, I'm back home. Wait, I need lip gloss. Okay, so I'm back home. I didn't go to Ralph's honestly i was mad tired i did so much running around like literally i was pooped <laughs> and i'm hungry and all i had was my i didn't eat my acai bowl earlier acai bowl i actually got full just from the protein shake but then an hour after me being outside i was like damn i'm hungry but i have so much food at home i was like girl well, not so much food. <laughs> I have a, an acai bowl at home, and I have a salad, and I have a sandwich. Because <laughs> shortly after I left, they actually, Uber eats to me food. He, he ordered me food. So, he just be trying to, like, lighten my load, because I have a lot of things to do throughout the day. And he knew I was running around. 
and he knew I was gonna be hungry so he had food waiting for me when I got home and I thought that was very cute <laughs> I'm home now and I want to show you guys what I got <laughs> I didn't go like super duper crazy to be honest but I just got some new stuff so the first place I went to was Target and I went and I needed to pick up of course literally as i start filming it truly never fails in downtown la um anyways i got um a body wash because i needed a new body wash and i went to cbs in hopes of finding this and they were sold out of all of the method body wash like i guess that's everyone's favorite now because at one point i feel like i could go in there and they kind of always consistently had it and now they don't they don't be having it so i had to go to Target, and i got the method body wash chamomile starflower blue lavender wind down body wash i never tried this this scent i tried the gray one and i tried the pink one i feel like i'm gonna like this wind down i went to a couple of weeks ago i went to lush and i got these bath bombs that i have yet to use and i think i'm trying to have like a self-care day tomorrow which is kind of weird because I probably should have done that today. Like today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Whenever you need to take a self-care day, whenever you need to take a moment to just stop, try and take that moment. If it can't be a whole day, like a period of time, block it off. Tell tell whoever you need to tell that you can't, you're not available, you're, you're trying to be there for yourself black women especially we literally like we have to start prioritizing ourselves because i feel like we put in a lot of people in our lives first before ourselves so self-care take a self-care day do it sis you deserve it i know you deserve it you've been putting that work in and you need it the next thing i got i was telling guys when i was in target i've been hella ashy as a recent the temperature in la has dropped consistently like normally it's like 75 and sunny every single day here like even through the winter last winter 75 and sunny every day but lately mother nature I've been on some like 60 degrees 57 you know it's a little bit chillier and i feel like it's also raining more than it normally does so I don't know, the, the, even though there seems to be some kind of precipitation in the air, it's not much, the air is still very dry. And me already being a dry person, like my skin is already naturally <laughs> very dry and then sensitive. I, like I used to have eczema when I was a kid, like when I was really young. And then it kind of went away and then it came back in my like middle school to teen years, but on my face. So. I'm just dry everywhere. My scalp is dry, my face is dry, my body is dry. And I've been using cocoa butter, like Palmer's cocoa butter, the tub, like the shea butter, like the thick one, you know? I've been using that to moisturize. And literally like two, three hours later, I'll look down at my arms or my legs and they'll literally be like cracked, like dry. And I'm like, what? I put on mad cocoa butter. Like, I be slipping and sliding coming out the bathroom because my feet is boiled up. Like, literally mad slippery. And then you telling me, like, a couple hours later, like, Shreddy's is ashy again? Like, what? That shit is unacceptable. It literally, and I'm also constantly washing my hands. Like, constantly washing my hands, constantly wiping out surfaces with wet wipes. These. These Lysol wipes right here, these is my, I have four of them underneath the sink. Like literally I have one in my car. I'm constantly wiping surfaces down with the Lysol wipes. I don't know if it's COVID that made me like this, but honestly I've kind of always been like somewhat of a neat freak. <laughs> so, and just a clean freak. I would say more so clean cause I'll have my messy moments, but it's really not like often i like everything to have a space and a spot and a place and i'm getting so sidetracked right now but um let me just finish this thought before i lose it but yeah i like everything to have a spot i do have my moments but i will say everything is always clean like clean surfaces shit don't be dirty i don't even like marks on my wall i'd be like taking a little wet wipe or an eraser <laughs> And I be trying to get the, the marks off the white wall because you could just see it so 
and it's annoying you know because it's just like Ugh. anyway besides all of that i don't even know how we got to that point oh because i'm saying i'm ashy i was like i need to go back to like my original 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 lotion or cream that i used to use years ago that really worked when i was back in new york and it was bone chilling temperatures in the in the winter and my skin was crazy dry like i literally used to use this this is the nivea cream like this stuff is thick okay it has a little seal open hold on dang i'm not gonna be able to get this open see you can't do nothing with nails <laughs> i'm just really i'm about to start rocking short sets only i don't want to hear y'all not gonna come for me okay so it's literally like look this is me holding it upside down it's not even moving out the freaking thing <laughs> this stuff is thick okay like literally applying this you're like applying a new layer of skin to your body it's crazy so yeah i already know this is about to get me all the way together because i don't like being ashy it's uncomfortable honestly to have dry skin is really uncomfortable like i don't know what it is to have oily skin but dry it's like you could feel dry skin like you can feel the dryness of your skin rubbing against something fucking just exposed to the air like that shit you could feel that shit Ugh. stress yeah no i keep getting distracted anyway i've been putting heat on my hair okay like i've been putting heat on my hair these last couple of months and i feel like I probably do have some heat damage, but more so my hair is just dry. Everything's just dry. Oh my gosh. Anyway, my hair is dry. So I got a hair mask. I wanted a, a deep treatment mask that I could like, that would have like really good slip or it would make my hair feel really, really, really conditioned. Like I like the Aussie three minute deep condition moisture, whatever that I have in the, in the bathroom that I use in like every hair wash day video, but that one's great but it's like i need something to do after i get out the shower like i'll do that in the shower and then this will go on when i get out um i got the kristen s deep treatment mask intense moisture deeply nourishing instantly softening shine enhancing for all hair types i know for all hair types kind of sounds like because uh, how can a product be for all hair types but i do feel like there are those products that just have like the essential ingredients like stuff that everyone needs no matter what your texture or type is so i feel like this is that you know like real simple but like good gets to the point you know that's really just based off the fact that i've used one of their other products and i kind of feel like it's the same vibe like everyone could use that i'm gonna be trying this using it in a future wash day video i have two hair videos with my natural hair planned coming up so you know and they're both gonna involve a nice mask then i just needed some new panty i just needed more panty liners so i just got these boring and i got baby carrots because i'm about to make roasted carrots tonight with chicken i think it's gonna be jerk chicken it's gonna be real good jerk chicken and rice yeah tomatoes chicken and rice that's what we're doing yup and then i went over and i saw this a really cute desk lamp and as you guys know i just set up my desk in my bedroom and i want a little lamp over there just for like you know in the nighttime when i might be doing some work the sun like once this obviously once the sun sets because i have floor to ceiling windows it gets pretty dark in here so i have i'm reliant on whatever lights i have and in my bedroom i just have the one overhead so i do have a like a lamp next to my bed that i like to use and it's more like mood lighting as opposed to the overhead like i don't want bright ass lights and i got big windows that you can just see directly into my shit you know like i want some mood lighting on some low lights some i take colored lighting you know something chill so i use that lamp that i have from ikea i use that a lot and then i have another one in the living room and honestly my probably my favorite ikea purchase ever they're just so 
cool like they're they're cool to look at they're touchless like you just tap it and it turns on and then you can dim it brighter or or darker and it's just like really cute and like geometric and shit i love it so i just need some wall art Ugh. okay this is the last time i promise you this is the last time i'm talking about wall art on my channel because the next time i talk about it i'm gonna have it like i'm not even i'm gonna be introducing it to you guys because at this point no like it's been over a year jasmine get your shit together but yeah i got this cute ass desk lamp This is gonna be real cute on my um on my desk. We should go put it down while the light is kind of still in there. No, I'll just show you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this one's also touch. It has like a little touch pad. I'm gonna have the link for this desk lamp down below in the description box. Then I walked on over to Bath and Body Works, and I went in there on a mission to get a fragrance i mean to get a candle for the bathroom and then a candle for like the living area because right now i have one in my bedroom and the one i have out here is too small like i feel like this space is too big and you need like a big candle i need like a three wick candle or more. the one i got for the living room y'all know i had to get i feel like this is mandatory like if you don't get this during the holiday season what are you doing and it's marshmallow fireside this literally smells just perfect like the perfect sweet scent but it's not overbearing it has a little bit of like you know it has warmth to it but i want to say the slightest bit of musk too it's perfect it's so 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 yummy toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire right Fire roasted vanilla, that's the warmth. Crystallized amber with natural essential oils. Love. Literally, I was looking for it for like 20 minutes, couldn't find it. <laughs> it was like 15. And then I asked someone and they, they were like, oh, it's right here. And then the one that I got for the bathroom is a eucalyptus mint. I love a eucalyptus. I love mint. This is the perfect, fresh, clean scent. I just cleaned the whole bathroom two days ago. So I just needed like something very fresh to just pair well with the clean floors and the clean bathtub and the clean sink. Like literally needed to get that all the way together. So I really liked this. So this is going in the bathroom. And to go with that, I got some eucalyptus. I'm gonna hang this in my shower. So when I take a nice hot steamy shower, I'm gonna have the eucalyptus in the shower, steaming up, opening up my pores, doing what it needs to do. And then I'm gonna have the eucalyptus and mint candle burning. And it's gonna be like, ah, this is very cute. When I step out, it's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yummy, very, very yummy. Now I'm just about to eat my food. Um, I was already munching on the pita bread and chip. Um, so I'm not gonna show you, but I got a little salad here and a chicken pesto panini. It's literally so freaking bomb. It has chicken, pesto, artichokes, and cheese and tomatoes on on like thick like sourdough bread, slightly toasted. Oh yeah. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Yeah, I had to come back a little bit more put together. <laughs> um, but what is up, you guys? Happy Vlogmas Day 14, I think. Yeah, 14, 15, one of those days. Um, I, the last time you guys saw me was yesterday, and I said I was going to make dinner. I didn't end up making dinner because I still had leftovers. So I ate those instead of making dinner, but I'm about to, make, I'm about to prep dinner now for later. Um, I am just for the gym gonna be going to the gym in a bit i fasted this morning and then i started eating at 12 so we're on track we're doing we're doing good it's like day three of me fasting um but i'm about to prep this chicken and then have it marinate in the fridge for a couple hours and then i'm gonna put it in the oven later and then i'm still doing roasted 
carrots and rice. So it's gonna be very good. Let's do a little cooking sesh. Let me set you guys up right here. So I already washed and cleaned my chicken. So we don't have to worry about that. And I'm actually gonna be doing jerk seasoning. But before I do that, I'm gonna do like the standard. So garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, chili powder. I don't have any more smoked paprika, but I know there's some in this Louisiana Cajun rub, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Cause I like smoked paprika, but I have to get more. There is a little salt in that um, Cajun rub, so I'm gonna do a very small amount of pink Himalayan salt. This is like five or six pieces of chicken breast. And I'm gonna do a little bit of oil just to Make that blend better. Two spoonfuls of this. I'm gonna do some of this. I just got this <laughs> and it's almost done and I'm kind of sad, but like I just need more. Someone's gonna have to send me a care package from New York. I don't feel like getting my hands dirty. All right, it should look something like this. And I'm gonna wrap it with some saran wrap. And then this is gonna go back in the fridge for like uh, two to three hours. And then I'll come back and we'll put it in the oven, but it's just gonna sit in this little marinade so it could be real flavorful and taste really good. I'm about to throw my gym sneakers on, get my water bottle, all my gym things situated. Today's actually lower body day because um, I did upper body and then I did abs and cardio the last two times that I went and then yesterday was a rest day. So today's gonna be lower body and I'm still gonna be doing cardio at the end of my workout to kind of really just like have a complete burnout, but I do wanna maintain my muscles, so that's why today's a little body day.
about to make this chicken. It's gonna be real simple since I already prepped the chicken earlier. I'm literally just gonna throw it into this dish. I'm gonna oil the bottom of the dish, throw it into this dish, um, put it in the oven, cover it, put it in the oven, cook it for like 35 minutes, and then I'm gonna take the covering off and cook it for another 25. And if it's not crispy the way I want it, I might put it in the air fryer for like 10 minutes just just so that it's like crispy but i know it's gonna be like fall off the bone and then while the chicken is uh, cooking i'm gonna be doing my um i'm gonna be making the carrots and the rice that's gonna be real easy and while all that stuff is cooking then i'm supposed to do my makeup and my hair i'm not gonna do anything crazy with my hair um honestly i think i'm just gonna do my slick back bun that i like to do and simple makeup but Bay and I are going on a little dinner date. Not dinner date. We're going on a little movie date. We're having dinner here because obviously I'm cooking and then we're going to go and see Spider-Man. I actually really want to see Spider-Man, so I'm excited. I've been seeing rave reviews. Everyone keeps saying that they wanted to see it two times, three times because it's so good. So I'm actually really excited to see Spider-Man. And yeah, so let's get into this motherfucking chicken. in the oven the chicken's already in there i actually need to put a timer on because i forgot but it's been there for like 10 15 minutes so i'm just gonna put another 25 and then i'm gonna take it out and take off the cover and then put it back in for another 25 
um and in the meantime the rice is also going i got it on low heat i just need to keep an eye on it i added a little bit of water so it's not just straight coconut milk but i waited until the coconut milk cooked down to more like a cream and then i added the water because i'm making like coconut rice jerk chicken and then we're gonna have the roasted the roasted rosemary garlic or carrots whatever you want to call it garlic butter carrots it's gonna be really good um yeah so i need to get cute because you know, like, I want to get cute. No, but more importantly, I just want to get cute for me. Um, I'm actually doing a hair mask right now. I bet you didn't know to eat. Um, I'm doing the hair mask that I bought from Target that I showed you guys. This one from Kristen S. I put it in my hair when I was in, like, after I got out the shower, actually. I put it in my hair after I got out the shower. And then I put a bald cap, I'm not a bald cap a shower cap on so that it could like really marinate and i put some um jamaican black casserole on my scalp too so it was a very nice deep condition moment it says to leave it on for two to ten minutes but it's been literally like probably an hour since i put this on so i'm going to wash it out and I'm just do it in my sink wish me luck <laughs> okay so this is what my hair is looking like it has a really nice shine to it i will say it needs to be combed out more the hair mask was actually a lot thicker than i thought it was gonna be so i was surprised i was like oh this looks like it might actually like really do something because it was like really thick my hair feels soft definitely feels soft yeah i need a deep condition like once a week for like the next couple of weeks and then i can give you guys like an updated curly hair routine because i need to like revive my hair but i do plan on putting heat on it soon again so <laughs> there's also that i don't think it'll be too bad though because every time i straighten my hair i kind of trim it too and I low-key feel like I need a trim. So I want to do a bun, right? Okay. Yeah, my hair actually feels very soft. Like, honestly, my hair feels mad soft. I'm gonna just do like a slick back. My hair is so moisturized. brush oh my arms is getting tired god damn oh ah, okay now I have my ponytail gonna just wrap this really tight tuck it and then take another scrunchie Now I can go in with this and I can actually lay them. Period. 
period edges. You see how long it can take to do your edges? Oh my gosh. It literally to be taking me like Sometimes like 20 minutes just to shape them. Period. Okay, now I have to put my scarf on and do my makeup. I finished my makeup! And the food is ready. Let's go check on the food. Back when I was in it was a jolly. Look at this! No, that's right. That should look good as fuck. Yes, sir. I did that. And then got the carrots and my mushy rice. Y'all know I don't know how to make rice, but I still try. So let me plate it up. dinner together I took photos of my makeup not of my outfit I still need outfit pictures I'm gonna make they take outfit photos of me here he actually declared himself um, the cameraman the photographer for the night so but um, took pictures of my makeup because it came out so freaking good the lighting in my kitchen is my favorite and the edges is on swim you know it's giving healthy it's giving me to take care of vitamins, but I don't. But I should. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm about to go. It's so excited! I'm so excited! Babe, are you excited? Yeah, man. I feel like it's 07. You know, and I'm watching Peter Parker climb up the malls in, in New York City from the comic store. You know what I'm saying? That okay. Box. Okay, Unc. Saving Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wonder if Uncle Ben getting clapped again. Mm, I don't think it's, it's. Didn't you see the first one with Tom Holland in it? Yeah, but this one has all of the Spider Mans together. Oh. So I wonder. But they're not gonna make wonder, his grandfather <laughs> or his his dad or whatever die again. The chicken I made was bussin' bussin'. Like, I really, I really outdid myself. You could say fire. You could be like, that shit was fire. Cause it was. Body that, uh, I need to get better at making rice. Cute. They're so cute. These are um, the Yeezy 700s. They're new, they just came out. Going down. I'm obsessed. So cute. We're at the Americana. Yeah to AMC. AMC, we're gonna see Spider-Man. We're here. We all here. I'm excited. <laughs> we're late, but the movies have like probably already started and we're about to go into the theater. So I'll see you at the end. guys i'm home literally took my makeup off washed my face and my skincare put my bonnet on and i'm in bed honey literally i'm so tired the movie was so good i cried twice um if you've seen it without saying any spoilers in the comments down below just let me know if you've seen spider-man if you plan on seeing the new spider-man movie i highly recommend i thought it was great so yeah i'm literally about to go to sleep i'm so tired you can see it in my eyes i'm so exhausted it's like after one in the morning um so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning good morning vloggy vlog i'm 
dressed, I'm headed to the gym, got my little workout set on, and I'm actually drinking pre-workout because I woke up. I did like have a good sleep, I had a good rest. I don't know, I kind of feel low on energy. I think it might be because I'm on my monthly, so I kind of just feel drained. Um, so I'm drinking some pre-workouts. Got the raspberry lemonade pre-workout from Bloom. You can use my coupon code. I'll have it on the screen for you guys um, so you can get a little discount. But I just did um, one scoop, and this is what? It's a little under eight ounces of water because I just want to drink it real quick. Like, you can put more, you can put one scoop in like more water, like a 24 ounce water bottle, but then it'll take you longer to drink it, which means that it'll be like more delayed when you start to feel the energy. And I kind of just want to get it in so that I can get it in, in the gym. Here be it. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm about to drink this. Charge my headphones so that we're good to go. Ooh feel it now i'm about to be jump roping should i take you guys with me should we work out together yeah we can work out together i'm gonna bring you guys in chill with me although i feel like the last time i went to the gym i vlogged it it's okay. let's go to the gym <gasps> and why to i lay with it and why to i lay with it I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Going pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two, one I fly out till you can't see me Swish, yeah Falling From the first whistle we go all in All in And one Call it Numbers up and never falling Feel like I hit the lottery and proud of me, yeah No yeah. big proud of me, so I throw pride away She know I stuck to the plan and I stayed out the way Now we're spending no money, never touching the bank Touching the bank Just from me the game and I'ma get it done I'ma get it done Don't do it for fame, do it for the ones For the ones Ace with the dog, my damage my lungs mm. If you want to drive, she get with I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride Don't pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two, one Fly out till you can't see me Swish, yeah Falling From the first whistle we go all in All in And win Call it Numbers up and never falling My baby called me and said she need to stay Be for well, 25 day all the type of kids Stop playing with me, you know that you here to stay Stop playing with me, I'll be back home in eight No, I'm on the go, but I'm not over you Made you fall from home, but I'm still close to you Gotta get that back like I'm supposed to had to rest that up cause I'm overdue I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Guys, I'm filming I'm all set up here. I'm about to blow dry and straighten my hair. And I'm actually doing a TikTok simultaneously. So the vlog is just gonna be like a little skip through, but I'm doing a TikTok. Um, my workout in the gym was so good. Um, and then I got a protein shake and then a cyble after the gym. That was really good. I need to figure out dinner, but I'm feeling good, you know? I haven't worn my natural hair in so long. The girls have been wearing tape-ins, they've been wearing um, sew-ins, you know, the natural, natural blowout kind of look or natural straight hair look with like a longer length. So I'm trying to replicate that with my clip-ins again. I, I feel like I need to learn, obviously, where exactly they need to be placed and I can only do that with practicing, so. 
I just feel like blow drying and straightening my hair. And I'm gonna do a little video on it for the, for YouTube. So you guys are gonna see the before and then the after. I feel like I'm gonna look real cute once everything comes together. But yeah, let's get into my skin. Has just looked so good recently. Like my skincare routine, I feel like I got it. Like I got it down. <laughs> and this skin, I'm here for. Like pores, we don't know her. Texture, who is that? Like, girl. <laughs> the skin is skinny. Period. Ah! So yeah, this is the before and after. The glam is giving, honey, okay? Be my face. Can you guys believe I actually double stacked my lashes? That's why they're so fluffy. I'm loving it. It's giving drama. Drama, babes. Yeah, so I finished filming my TikTok. I'm gonna post that tomorrow because it's obviously too late to post now. It's like 8.30. Um, so I'm gonna post my TikTok tomorrow. I took photos so I could knock that off. What else? Um... I took a little like couple of videos for my insta stories you know just to have content to throw up on there waiting on a dinner to be delivered and in the meantime i'm gonna clean up and i'm gonna start editing so that i can have a video to go up tomorrow hopefully i can finish it tonight if not then i'll probably do like half now and then half in the morning but yeah i straighten my hair i have these clip-ins that i'm gonna be putting in but i actually decided to do it tomorrow instead of Today I wanted it to be like in the daytime, so hopefully, let me check the weather. Hopefully it's sunny tomorrow, cause that would be perfect if it was sunny. Please, no, tomorrow's gonna be so, tomorrow's gonna rain. This is 100% chance of rain. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Yeah, that's gross. I don't know what's gonna be going on with LA, but it's been super chilly and it's been raining so much like i remember last winter last winter in la it was literally sunny like every single day 75 every single day i remember being outside like hanging out on the rooftop and stuff in my old building like literally it was not like this at all so there's definitely something going on in mother nature but it's okay i'm still gonna film it tomorrow in the daytime because Honestly, I'm a little pooped right now. Even though my makeup does look really cute, it will be kind of cute. Maybe after I eat, I'll change my mind, but I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy vlogmas. I don't know what day it is, but you know we're doing a weekly vlog, so. It's just happy Thursday, because it's Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ciao, happy Thursday. I'm having a little bit of a... I think I've just gotten a little too used to, and I'll be the first to admit it. I think I got a little too used to what frontals be doing for my forehead, and it makes my forehead look smaller, because with my natural hair done, I'm like, oh my god. My forehead is huge. It's okay, though. But it's just like... I just feel like all I'm seeing is forehead. <laughs> anyway, ciao anyway. So it's actually not even the morning. It's the afternoon. But I've been up since the morning. I've been working on a new video. I wanted it to go up today. But honestly, my computer has been giving me issues all day. I've had my MacBook Pro. I have the 15-inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar. I've had it since like 2017, I think is when I got this computer so it's like four about to be five years old and I feel like it's starting to just move so freaking slow and I use every like um I keep all of my files for editing um photos and all that stuff I keep it on an external hard drive so I don't even physically have it on the computer but I think the computer even though I update it when it's supposed to get updated it's just hitting that age where it's just moving slower and it's literally like lagging and pausing and then it just restarted twice. I'm I'm getting really frustrated. So I'm honestly going to stop. Um, it's time for me to eat. I did eat kind of like late yesterday. I, my fasting window was supposed to start at 8. But I actually started at 10 because dinner was not. We ordered food out. 
we ordered food and i didn't we didn't get it until like nine so i didn't eat um before then and i needed to eat dinner so i ended up stopping the timer right at 10 so today i'm starting at two but i'm still gonna cut it off at eight because i want to get back to my um 12 to 8 p.m window i feel like that's a better window waiting until 2 p.m my stomach <laughs> right now even though it's the same amount of hours for some reason i think it's just my mind playing tricks on me my mind is like it's 2 p.m and you still haven't eaten although i've gone literally the entire day before without eating like i've gone until like 10 11 p.m at night and i didn't eat anything since the day before like super early so it's just my mind playing tricks on me but i'm thinking i'm gonna still cut it off at 8 p.m just so that i can still stay in that 12 to 8 p.m window that i'm doing a giveaway that's why i'm talking to you guys i'm doing a giveaway i'm sure a lot of you guys were probably wondering you haven't said anything about a giveaway you hit 100k you said you were gonna do one when you hit 100k um but then also for christmas i did a, a giveaway last year there were two giveaway winners for a christmas giveaway so i'm kind of just combining it and i'm gonna have it be four winners so i'm doing a giveaway on my youtube channel it is going to incorporate instagram if you're on youtube and you're subscribed to me then you've already done some of the legwork um i'm gonna very quickly just list the giveaway rules so and it's gonna be super simple because i want it to genuinely be obviously people that are supporters of mine that love my content that watch my content regularly weekly monthly whatever just someone that's obviously or people that have been along for the journey if you're new to that's no like disregard to you you're still important if you're new if you just subscribed welcome to the tribe literally welcome to the tribe welcome to the youtube fam i love it i love you guys so much and i want to give back to you because i just i obviously would not be living the life that i live if it weren't for my wonderful beautiful youtube tribe and subscribers you guys have been here for so long this journey is like i feel like it we're just now getting to like the the good stuff the juicy the good great part of it is like starting right now and i'm so excited i'm so happy that i hit 100,000 subscribers this year it was a goal that i set for i set for myself at the beginning of the year i wrote it down i was going over my 2021 goals and i'm so proud of myself because i was actually able to knock off a bunch of them like there was a couple that i didn't hit the the I think one of them was like read five books this year that didn't happen <laughs> um and then i can't remember what was the other one that i didn't accomplish but you know small beans in the grand scheme of things the ones that i really wanted to get done and accomplish i was able to do and i'm so proud of myself and i'm so happy and i feel like that's because i obviously have such an amazing support system online i love you guys so much the giveaway is going to consist of basically a bunch of makeup a bunch of skincare and then i'm actually gonna throw in some um gift cards i'm gonna do probably an amazon gift card and an apple gift card so we're gonna do that and the rules for the giveaway are so you have to be subscribed you have to obviously be subscribed to my youtube channel with all your post notifications turned on so if you have some you gotta switch it to all um which is not crazy because i feel like i don't bombard you guys with videos i mean for vlogmas definitely it was a lot heavier but um you know it's obviously gonna lighten up because vlogmas is about to end you have to follow me on instagram i'll have my instagram on the screen it'll also be in the description box below for a link a link that you guys can click on so you have to follow me on instagram and turn on your notifications on instagram you just have to share one of my instagram reels to your story and screenshot it so when i reach out to whoever the winners are the four winners i'm going to ask for verification of this of course and just make sure you get that screenshot in oh and the last the last the last rule the fourth rule um you just have to comment under any one of my vlogmas videos so the more vlogmas videos you watch and the more comments you posted the more entries i guess you have because that's what i'm really gonna like be going off of when i pick who the winners are and it will be at random but i'm gonna just the 
it's gonna be literally any of any one of my 2021 vlogmas videos if you left a comment if you left multiple comments that is like your last entry into it so you're gonna have to have all of the other things obviously for the rules to apply to you you're gonna have to have all of those checked off but the last one is gonna be that i just wanted to pick some i just wanted to pick people that were obviously like engaged and tuned in like if you were here watching from vlogmas day one and we're now at the end of vlogmas like you were here you watched so it's not necessarily the most recent it can be day one it can be day seven it can literally be any one of the days and that is all and it's gonna be a great giveaway so when this video goes live is when the giveaway essentially will start right but it ends i'm gonna cut it off i'm gonna cut it off december 27th I know I'm gonna get questions if this is international or not. Yes, this is international. This is the first time that I'm ever doing a giveaway and it's gonna be international. I know them fees is gonna be crazy for me, girl, but I'm gonna do it for y'all because I love y'all. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be international. So I don't even know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna be shipping to somewhere else in the world. Ah! That's crazy. Yeah, so those are all of the rules. Hopefully you guys got it. I'll have it listed in the description box um again for everyone and maybe even pinned in the comment section so that it's just everywhere and that's what it is but yeah i'm so excited I, I can't believe it. other than that my fasting window is up which i'm so happy about because your girl is starving okay um i'm about to go pick up some lunch that i have waiting for me i did a pickup order from panini <laughs> you guys know like that's really my like that's my spot okay it doesn't look bad though it just it has body and the tiktok that i filmed last night i posted and it's doing very well and i'm excited and i'm happy because tiktok low-key y'all was getting tired of me i feel like my i built my following off of a specific kind of video and then anytime i tried to do anything other than that they were just like huh Okay, but where's Nikki though? Where's Nikki? Where's Nikki? Where the f Nikki? Nikki at? Uh, Where the f is Nikki at? Nikki! What? Oh, Nikki! Where this bitch at? <laughs> anyway, child, anyway, sorry. We gonna go get my food because I'm hungry. We gonna get my food. I'll be right back. I got this nigga last week. You gonna drink that for sure. <laughs> Oh, oh. I almost fell. You guys, I uploaded that video that I was working on. Um, so that went up. And I forgot to show you guys that I bought some stuff off Amazon. I bought a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. And I went into an Amazon haul. Ah. The first thing I got, I got um this this pair of leggings, right? They're like a ribbed. Ooh. They're like a ribbed legging, and I actually wore them the other night when I went to the movies, and I wore them, and they were like in that brown kind of auburn color. So I got them in that color, and I got them in black. I feel like these run kind of big, so I would honestly size down. I got them in a medium, but they were like, you know when leggings are too big and they kind of like slide down? They weren't too big. Like, I could just, I could have used a small, I feel like, personally. They're very, very, very stretchy and I like them because the material is thick you couldn't see like my panty line even though I wear a lot of thongs so I'm pretty sure that day I you couldn't see anything anyway because of that but they're very thick they weren't see-through like once they were on and they have a really great stretch and they were surprisingly they were long enough you know I'm 5'7 kind of tall I feel like I have long legs and like a short torso and these actually they don't look like they're super long, but they were long enough. So yeah, I like these. I'm gonna add them to my Amazon storefront. Everything that I share with you guys from now, like forward, is always gonna be on my Amazon storefront. So before I was just sharing my like links with you guys, like individual links, but now I have a storefront on Amazon's website and I can have all of the things that I use, that I like, that I purchase off of Amazon, I can have them on there. And then I actually have them like split up in categories. So I have like 
tech stuff like all of my camera gear my lights my tripods anything that's for like tech like computer anything tech wise is going to be under that category and then i have home decor and then i have beauty must-haves like you know hair tools um hair products like just various beauty items that i'll purchase off of amazon all of that stuff is linked on my storefront it is an affiliate situation obviously because it's a storefront that amazon gave to me but i only got it because i was making them money and they was like girl have your own storefront and i was like you know what i'm gonna do that that sounds like a cool a cool little job to have it's not even a job but you know i feel like if i'm suggesting or essentially putting you guys on something cool fun useful helpful whatever beautiful whatever you want to call it and you purchase it off of amazon I should get my little 10 cents off of that sale just saying so that's what the whole deal is with amazon storefronts and yeah everything that i talk about like literally also just things i've mentioned in lat in past videos i have on there as well it's just my favorites like clothing item i got i got another pair of slippers so if you guys have been watching my channel for a little minute you know that i had these in the gray color and I liked them so much. They were so cute. But I decided to opt for the black this time around. Just because light colored shoes, you know, they get dirty quicker. And you can see the dirt quicker. So I decided to get black. These are the softest and most comfortable pair of house slippers I've ever owned. They have a nice, thick, padded foam sole. Um, and they're really fluffy. And they're really soft. And it feels like... It low-key feels like fake fur, like, doesn't feel like real fur, but it's pretty damn close. It's super soft. Babe, feel this. Okay, okay, she not lying, she not lying. They're very soft. They're yeah, actually yeah, so yeah, soft, yeah, and they're fine. so comfortable, yeah, and yeah, they're nice. cute. They got men slippers. <laughs> Give me a pet. Your little toes will hang out the top. You not got a nice little pedicure. You know, it's gonna look real cute. These are like my bougie house slippers, you know? I like these. I have other house slippers, but whenever I put these on, I'll be like, hmm, I need a glass of wine now, you know? It kind of just goes hand in hand. So I really love these. So I got another pair. And then so I have um I already have ooh, I already have a set of straws um, in my drawers. I have these bamboo straws that, funny enough, I also bought off of Amazon. But I don't know if anybody else has owned bamboo straws before. But if you allow them to stay in water like too long, though, actually the wood will start to expand and then once it dries it'll shrink and it'll cause cracks and this goes for anything that's wood it's happened to cutting boards that i've owned it's happened to these bamboo straws but they're literally starting to split down the middle which obviously is not helpful for when you're trying to drink something because the liquid doesn't travel up the straw so i'm unfortunately gonna have to get rid of these i really like them though but because i just thought they were cute and they looked really natural but it's just it wasn't working so i got some more straws but this time around i got glass straws uh, so cute i know you guys have seen these probably all over tiktok and youtube um you get two no four bent ones but there's like a short set and then a taller set and then four straight ones and you have a shorter set and a taller set and then it comes with a little brush to clean on the inside and i honestly like the idea of them being see-through more than the bamboo because it's like with the bamboo you could clean with the brush but you never really know if you fully got everything you know but with these you'd obviously be able to still see if they were dirty, you know, you put them in the dishwasher or whatever, you clean them with a little brush. You could still see if there's any kind of like particles or anything stuck, food, drink, whatever. Because I'd be making smoothies and stuff on the inside. So I really, really like these. I'm so excited to use those. And then in the spirit of getting new straws, I was like, I need more glasses. So I got more cups. And the cups that I got were these really cute little soda glasses. So another item that you guys have probably been seeing all over TikTok. I just thought the shape was very cute. It literally looks like a little soda glass, soda can, but it's in a glass. 
um yeah so i got a set of four these cute little soda glasses just another glass for me to have a drink in have a, a glass of whatever oj iced coffee tea iced tea you know i have my mason jars and then i don't really have any other glass glassware other than my wine glasses but you know how that goes so that's everything i got from amazon right Bowling up is fun and I'm tripping for no reason. He gon' cut it crazy but I start cut it thin and <laughs> Yeah, so that's everything that I got from Amazon and everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront so you can go check it out, see what my other Amazon favorites are. Um, they ordered Indian food for takeout for dinner. And honestly, I haven't had Indian in a very long time. I'm eating an empanada right now, an empanada. A little chicken empanada from this Cuban spot. Um, Very good, by the way. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Christmas. I said happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, I still got no lights on my tree. It looks good from here. It's Christmas. And I'm in my onesie. I'm feeling very joyful. Very in the Christmas spirit. Honestly, I wasn't feeling it for most of Vlogmas. It just doesn't feel like Christmas, but today feels like a good day. Honestly, in a great mood. I just got out the shower. I'm all fresh and clean. And I'm about to open my presents. Look at all the presents in the tree. Aw, how cute. Okay, so I've got my tea here. I'm drinking a little Tazo green tea, ginger tea. It's very good. And I'm gonna open some of the stuff. Um, I've been told that this is not everything, right? Yeah. Some of my stuff is coming in a couple of days, which is fine. Honestly, just I feel really grateful to even get anything because last year my Christmas was so simple and I feel like my Christmas has been pretty simple for majority of my adult life i feel like once you're not a kid anymore i don't know it just changes obviously and i just i'm really blessed and i'm thankful and i'm i i'm happy with what i got you know like this is very cute i'm very thankful for you guys you guys are honestly my christmas present this year too like we just hit 110,000 subscribers it's like crazy it's like almost 10,000 in a month. It was like 8,000 in one month or something. And then we just hit 110. So very, very happy about that. Merry Christmas to me, girl. There's a couple of things under here that I already kind of cheated and opened. I just want to go for the two that I don't know what <laughs> This one. can't tell what it is. Should I guess? Should I guess? No, I'm not gonna guess. Ooh, what's this? Ah! <laughs> Wait, he actually got it! Oh, babe! That's so cute. He got me body by Raven. Oh, and you guys know I'm always wearing this and her stuff sells out like all the time very quickly. She does like very exclusive drops. So I don't know. However he got it, he got it. Wow, look at that. He got me the, um, the back shot hoodie. I have this one, but with the red lettering, this one is with the yellow. So cute. adorable i love y'all know i love this stuff i love good loungewear and this stuff is like so quality the hoodies the sweatpants everything is just really really good quality i'm genuinely a fan of her stuff which is why i'm always wearing it and look ah yes man you did so good thank you oh and then there's another one he got me the um the body basics in yellow this is gonna look so freaking cute yes it's like a nice mustardy yellow color 
Oh, this is gonna look good on me. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you, babe. This is adorbs. Got the body. And then I literally was wearing this, what, two days ago in pink? Yesterday in pink? Whenever I was wearing it. Y'all know, this is my jam right here. <sighs> we love a man that listens, you know, and pays attention to details. We love that. So that was that one. This is the next one. Some, some, look at. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you wrap it? Like this? <laughs> Look at all of this um, Savage X Fenty. This is all panties and underwear. Ooh, what's yeah, these? <laughs> Fluff it up. Some something in green. Ooh. Oh. And looks like a sweater. They're so, and something in blue. Aw, thank you, babe. He also, wait, let me show you what he got me. I still count this as Christmas because I haven't worn them yet. Although I wear the other ones, but hold on, let me show you. So I also got some Yeezys. These I got a little early in the mail because he ordered them to my house, so. It wasn't a surprise, but it still was so thoughtful. I got these really cute, um, what are these, 700s? Mm -hmm. And this like teal blue with the orange. Honestly, I feel like I could probably do these two together. These are so cute on. They're like a dad sneaker, like a dad shoe, but they're like really cute. Honestly, I like Yeezys a lot. I will say I'm a Yeezy stan when it comes to his shoes. <laughs> I don't know about all the other stuff he be saying and doing, but his I like his shoes. Um, and then he also got me these, which I showed you guys in a vlog already, but these literally came like a couple days ago. And I've never had this style of sneaker. Um, I think these are so cute. Like, And I never would have bought these for myself. I like these a lot, actually. Like, They look so cute on, and they're a slip-on. You don't actually have to tie the shoes. You literally just slide them right on. They're a little tough to get on because my feet are big, but these are very, very cute. He did very good. Those are all great things. Like this Savage X Fenty order, first of all, has like a thousand things in it. He got me matching sets. <laughs> matching sets and everything. Like, what? Wow. So yeah, I'm gonna do a haul then. I can definitely do a haul and try on all this stuff. A try on haul of all my Savage X Fenty. Would you guys wanna see that? Comment down below if you wanna see a Savage X Fenty try on haul. So cute. Okay, so I'm about to make a little Christmas breakfast, Christmas morning breakfast, even though it's not morning anymore because I'm fasting until 12. It's actually, it's 12.45, but it's okay. I had a, I woke up late, like I slept in. I literally woke up at like 11. So I'm about to make breakfast for us. I already gave Bay his Christmas present. And he was very shocked because I don't think he was expecting me to get him anything. It was very cute. And oh, I'm definitely making French toast. I got banana bread. Yeah, my camera died, but I'm about to make French toast. I might ask Bay to run to the store and get like something. I don't know. I don't think the stores are open though. It's Christmas. They are definitely closed, so. It might just be friends to us with fruit. I'm gonna have a little fruit salad on the side. I just put on some music and I've been meaning to listen to the Bryson Tiller, um, I, a different Christmas album, cause I heard that it was good. And I heard like one song off of it and I really liked it. And I just played it and it sounds like, I love Bryson and it sounds really good. Like it literally doesn't sound like Christmas music. Like it kind of has a little Christmas song to like sound to it, but it's really, it's like his trap soul. Like it's Christmas trap soul. I'm here for it. Love that. So 
he he did what he needed to do like like that's mad cute that was really cute like he did what needed to be done like period like yeah so i'm about to play my little music or whatever and um make this breakfast I thought you were friends, but I've been trying to make my own and share my heart. I thought you would be riding with me, I'm riding from a distance. I'll make a trip, I'll tell you what, I'll be all alone. Christmas, no Santa day. I thought you'd call and celebrate when you're not here with me. You're still running. Oh, it never fails. I just want to say I did my thing with this French toast. We had no syrup or honey. Um, so I didn't get honey or or syrup from the supermarket when I went yesterday. But they got had a little idea. He was like, oh, maybe I could do like a little syrup or something with the fruit. So I made a compote. That's the technical term. And it came out so good. It tastes mad good. I just did a little bit. I did the fruit. And then I did a little bit of water. Maybe like two tablespoons of water. And then I put some brown sugar in it. And a little bit of vanilla extract. And it's bomb. And then I just cooked it on low. Until it got like thicker in consistency. And it was more syrupy. Like almost like a jam. It's fire. And I forgot that I had these Christmas hats. So I'm wearing my Christmas hat now. Cause this is literally the only time I could wear it. Yeah, you guys, honestly, today's gonna be a very chill day. It's a holiday. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything. Man, yeah, I'm gonna just be hanging out, chilling. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Okay, bye. I did my makeup and I did my hair. I'm eating a high chew, I'm sorry. I'm wearing my new body by Raven. Time to run my plan today. Sad, sad. Kevin Durant isn't playing. Sad. Kevin I'm Durant sad. isn't playing. I don't know about but I'm sad. <laughs> she, she looked happy though. Happy look good on you. I'm about to go to a Lakers game. I've never been to a basketball game before you guys. So I'm excited. And it's the Lakers versus the Brooklyn Nets. So I have to. I have to go. We have to see them. They're playing the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Durant isn't playing, but. 
It's the makeup for me. These are Destiny Shop Lashes in the style Barbiana. I did cut them because they were a little long. They come like extra long so they can fit all eye sizes and then you can cut them down so they fit your eye better. They look so cute. Ah, and then I put my clippings in. The only piece that I couldn't get to freaking blend was this one right here. And this is my hair is so freaking blunt. Oh my gosh, it's the worst. Like, why? It's cute. Like, it's cute when I don't have clippings in, obviously. But damn, even when I get my hair braided, um, it's hard for it to like blend in the braids. And then when they start to get old, like my braids, after a couple of days, you'll start to see like my little hair stick out. And it's cause my hair is so blunt. It's in such a blunt cut <laughs> that it really just gives itself away every time. But yeah, I just feel so cute. Like, <laughs> look at the the booty. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I'm at Katsuya. I'm about to have dinner. Um, I honestly, I didn't feel like cooking. I had food to make dinner because I went to the supermarket yesterday, but. No, your girl's been so consistent in the gym and with my intermittent fasting, I deserve a lemon drop. I deserve a drink and a nice little sushi meal. So, I'm gonna order some sushi. I have to scan the menu. This background is so cute. There's a giant eye behind me. It's like, oh, oh, oh. No worries, no worries. Did you, did you 